What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for yet another video. Today I'm installing Johnson rods on my LR3. If I've ordered my videos correctly, you've already seen the end product and now I'm going back to show you the steps that I took to lift it and put the wheels on all of that stuff. So let's get into this. So this is the before. Here, I'll stand on this point. So this is absolute stock ride height. I'm gonna jack up the car in each corner probably, pull the wheel off, and then it'll be easy to access the rods. There's plenty of videos on how to do this, so I might skip a bunch of the steps. I might just show you what they look like in there, and then uh, at the end just raise it up. Super quick sneak preview, and I'm gonna test fit these wheels today. These are what the Johnson rods look like and this replaces that rod right there. So on the website it says to use a little golf tool. So I'm going to use this little thing, pry it off and then get this on. And I'll probably only get one of these on before I have to leave for something, but I'll come back and try to finish these up hopefully tonight. Super easy. That literally took 25 seconds to do. A little bit careful on that bottom one because it's plastic, but that new one slid right on there. Hit it with a little WD-40 for it to slip on there a little easier, but that's all you got to do. Our front lift rod goes in here just like that. Same process as you would do the rears. You just lube them up, slide them off, and then slide the new rod on. Here are the factory ones. little golf tool worked really, really well. The website said to use that, and it was like spot on. So I've got all four corners done. It's also the next day. I dropped my wheels and tires off at a discount tire by my house. So hopefully within the next hour or so, they'll call me back and I can go pick those up. I have these wheels bolted back on here right now. They're just kind of like hand snug down there. I'm only gonna turn the car on, raise it up, drive it forward, drive it back just to kind of fix like the weird camber going on. And then that's pretty much it. I'm hoping and it doesn't freak out. Right here, it's hard to tell, but that gap there is a bit bigger. Uh, and I can see in person, the front ground clearance is definitely a lot taller. I mean, two and a half inches is a decent amount in terms of like lift overall. But once I get those wheels on there, I think that's gonna complete everything. It's gonna bring this whole thing together. It's gonna look awesome and I will have accomplished my goals. But overall, the Johnson Rods lift was very, very easy to install, and that's a part that isn't really gonna get rusted on anything because they are just rubber grommets holding it on. So even if the rest of your Land Rover's rusty, that thing will still work. You just lube them up. I just use some WD-40 for now, and uh, throw them on there. See, this side looks good. For the price of the Johnson Rods, I'll say they're a huge success. One of the main reasons I wanted this Land Rover was for the air suspension and the terrain select system. So having the ability to spend 150 bucks shipped to my door for two and a half inches of lift is mega cheap compared to any like truck lift, Toyota lift. I'm not spending thousands of dollars for like three inches of lift. I'm getting it for 150 bucks on some, I don't know, 14 year old suspension, which is pretty sick. Okay, I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm tired, I'm super hungry, and it's today's just taking forever. But if this isn't the coolest thing, I've done it in a while, then I don't know what is. I don't think you're ready for this. Ah! Uh, this thing came out so freaking sick. Like, perfectly flush with the fenders, with the fitment there. It's tall, it's beefy, it's mean. Oh my god. I. I am so stoked on how that came out. Look at it from the front. Bruh. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. This thing is sick. This thing is sick. Wow. So after a bit of driving, this is where it leveled out to. This is with the two and a half inch lift and the new wheel setup. I think this is perfect it's literally like 
the right amount of wheel gap to wheel ratio. It drives super nice. I just gotta fix my steering. I think an alignment will help me with that. And the cool part about the way that this suspension lift is, unless that side's locked, unless I locked my keys inside of here. Just make sure, uh -huh. I can still use the factory lift. So now, <laughs> we can go even higher. Look at that, boom. Now she's in full high ride height mode. Very cool. So now it is just like, let's tackle everything because we can. Okay, cut to the end where I'm actually on a road taking photos. Okay. All right guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I just drove around some dirt back roads and it's been just super cool. I just got some banger photos. So let me throw up some of those pictures so you can get a better look at this thing. It kind of self-corrected after I started driving for a little bit and now the wheel wells aren't as filled out by the tires, which is perfect. It seems like I can turn pretty good, but uh, I haven't really done a full lock loop-de-loop. -loop. But hopefully you guys are liking the progress so far. I've literally owned this thing less than like five or six days. We've already got the lift and the wheels done. Needs some tints for sure. I feel like a fish in a fishbowl right now. And then we're just gonna go from there and just start adventuring. I am just so stoked. Hit that like button, because I know you like this video. And then also consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. I do car stuff, guns, gear, outdoor. Now I'm gonna be doing uh, some off-roading kind of stuff. So it's a little bit for everyone. Make sure to check out the other videos. There's some good stuff in there. I'll catch you guys next time. Um.